Hey folks, welcome to another Friday Fishing Forecast and it looks like it's going to be a great weekend. All we have to worry about is your typical afternoon thunderstorms which come later in the afternoon so just keep an eye out for that. Looks like the winds are going to stay low but the temperatures are going to be warm. It's going to be hot out there so make sure you bring enough to drink on the water. Make sure you drink water, Gatorade, anything with uh, you know electrolytes in it to keep you replenished you don't want to don't don't want to go out there and have heat stroke that's the last thing you want to do so just make sure that you have the proper fluids on the boat make sure you go out have a good time go out and catch fish because that's what we love to do is go out and catch fish uh, as you've seen throughout this last week we've had a ton of videos come out and um, I, I plan on doing more and more videos we did a consultation trip this week and we're going to plan on more. We actually, after this video, we're going to be showing you uh, who won the 18,000 subscriber winner who we picked randomly through a computer program. Uh, we picked them, we've contacted them, we're waiting to hear back from them. Uh, but we will do a video on that showing who won. And I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel and to the website because subscribing to the website is what gets your name in the hopper to be picked when we hit 19,000 subscribers. I can't believe I'm even saying that. I, I It's been awesome. I mean, we're growing. The subscribership on the channel is starting to grow a lot faster now, and we really appreciate that. And there's so many people sending in photographs of their of their top catches, and they're using our gear or they're using our techniques to go out and catch fish. And, and get limits of fish and that's that's what this is all about helping our fellow anglers go out and catch fish and they have been definitely doing that I've been very impressed with a lot of these photos that are coming through so uh, we really appreciate the people sending us those uh, we sent out an email yesterday and put it on our face just our Facebook page with a possible new jig that we might be coming out with and overwhelmingly <laughs> it was a positive positive uh, note so here's the jig that I was talking about I, I don't know if I'm going to call it the inshore slayer or what I'm going to call it but it's made for using artificials and I've been asked about this jig for a little bit so we, we went ahead and brought it in I've sat on the mold for a while because we've been so busy and we're still so busy so it's so I'm only going to release it with three colors with a um, reddish oranges the white and the neon yellow so we're going to release that here coming soon probably within the next week i want to get everything ready get all the pricing done and i can tell you right now that this jig will be priced lower than comparable jigs on the market i can tell you that with full confidence right now and that's what we love to do if we can help you save money and give you good quality product we're going to do it so keep a lookout for those jigs Let's go ahead and get into the Friday fishing forecast and talk about what we have in store for this weekend for the tides, lunar periods, and things in the weather. On Saturday, we have a high tide at 5.23 a.m. at a 1.33 foot. Then we have a low tide at 8.26 a.m. at a 1.22 foot. Then we have a high tide at 3.24 p.m. at a 2.71 foot. Then we have a low tide at 11.07 p.m. at a negative 0.13 foot. Then on Sunday, we have a high tide at 5.48 a.m. at a 1.40 foot. Then we have a low tide at 9.50 a.m. at a 1.14 foot. Then we have a high tide at 4.20 p.m. at a 2.41. And then we have a low tide at 11.45 p.m. at a 0 0.12. So as you can see, the morning tides are, uh, especially that early morning tide, is very, very slow. So I would definitely kind of concentrate if you're going to fish for grouper and snapper. But there's something that's happening that I haven't really experienced before, and I will get into that. Uh, it happened on our uh, on our our consultation trip. But the slack, the slower tides, I typically like for catching grouper and snapper during any time of year. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the major and minors, and then I'll get into what I was talking about just now. For Saturday, we have a minor feeding time from 9.17 a.m. to 10.17 a.m. Then we have a major feeding time from 3.35 p.m. to 5.35 p.m. Then on Sunday, we have a minor feeding time from 10.22 a.m. to 11.22 a.m. Then we have a major feeding time from 4.25 p.m. to 6.25 p.m. 
So what's been happening is that uh, the snapper have have gotten so thick that they're up in the water column even on a moving tide, and we were catching snapper on eighth ounce slacker jigs with a moving tide, which is typically doesn't happen. But they were on fire the other day, and we actually left them biting. So um, that's just a different caveat. That's what's going on. So. A lot of people I know in one of the pictures in the top catches, they talked about how they chummed the fish up to the boat when the tide started to slack off a little bit. So if you can get chum in a bucket, like dead bait or whatever, I highly recommend using it. If you can't find bait or you don't know how to catch bait, I would highly recommend buying frozen sardines from your local bait shops. Cut them up into smaller pieces, use those for chum and use those for bait and you will catch fish. Let's go ahead and get into the top catches for this week. Again, we get so many emails with photographs, and, and if we miss you, we apologize. If we, you think that we've missed you, send us uh, the picture again because some I'm getting so many emails that I'm trying to stay on top of everything. So let's go ahead and get into the top catches for this week. Starting off this week's top catches is Kerry Gooman. He says, all red snappers, hogs, and yellowtails caught free lining on slacker jigs and the rest on stewies 30 miles out from St. Pete. Next we have Chris Scangarello with a nice gag he caught inside the bay using the techniques he has learned from Tampa Bay Fishing Channel. Chris, thank you very much for that picture and thank you for letting us know that the, the techniques are working. Here is a real nice mess of fish caught by Terrence Larmond. He took the techniques of chumming them up to the surface by watching our videos. Last but not least, we have Alf Alfredo Lopez with a real nice red snapper caught on a stew stewie jig. Well, folks, I want to say again, thank you so much for sending in those photographs. We really appreciate it. And, um, you know, if you ever have any questions, we have probably now 60 plus people signed up for the con consultation trip. So please be patient with me. I will be getting around to everybody and talking about possible dates and stuff like that. So please be patient with me. There's a lot of people that want that consultation trip and I'm looking forward to doing them. I actually really enjoy seeing somebody, seeing somebody when it clicks in their head and they, they realize, oh, that's what I'm looking at or that's how I do this. So that's the neat thing about this whole deal is being able to help people realize and understand what they're doing on the water to go out and catch more fish. Uh, I, I am going to be doing a walkthrough video of the Stamus. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to start that right after this video. So we can go through that. Later on, I'm going to do a video uh, picking the 18,000 subscriber winner. So we've got a lot going on, folks. We really appreciate it. Uh, I, want to, I want to say thank you to the guides from, uh, guys from Sword Tools. They came down from Destin. They stayed at my house, never met them, but great guys, uh, Joe and Connor. We are going to, we are on their affiliate program now. We signed up. The knives are, everybody that's touched this knife has absolutely nothing bad to say about it. It's a great knife. They're great products. They have a lot of different lines of products. So we're going to be associated with them. I'm looking forward to working with them. Great guys. And so, the, like I said, there's a lot of things coming down the pipe. You know, the sunglasses, R jigs, there's so much going on. But I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart with all of the support you guys give us. We can't say thank you enough. Rich can't say thank you enough. So fish more, catch more. Good luck this weekend, and we'll see you on the flip side.